Here are the top three questions being asked about ServiceNow right now. Starting with question number one, what is ServiceNow? And it seems like a simple question, but it's really kind of hard to define because ServiceNow does so many things. Imagine if you spent a full year going into hundreds of companies around the world, analyzing how they use hardware and software to add value and solve business problems. You choose a broad range of companies of different sizes and industries, and you ask them essentially why they need their IT department. And I mean you really dig in. You interview leadership and IT staff and end users. You analyze all of the databases, the tables, the relationships to understand what the data is, what data is being stored and for what purpose. And you become an expert at all of their applications, their business logic, their processes and their workflows. Then you take all that you learned from those hundreds of companies and you spread it out on a table, a big table, and you analyze. You begin to make comparisons and you notice that although these companies are all different in size and industry and mission, they're all doing lots of common things with IT. They have customer inventories, for example, that let them know which services are being provided to which customers and where they are. They also have services that they're providing to their employees make them as efficient and productive as possible. And they have databases and workflows to manage trouble, problems, change requests. And they have applications to monitor and keep track of all their hardware and their software resources and their staff, just lots of commonalities. You then set out to build a cloud-based platform that provides all of, those com all of that common IT-enabled stuff. You take the best of what you learn from all of those companies and you chuck out the nonsense and you use that knowledge to set up the infrastructure, including the servers and the software, the network resources, security, data backups, and failover. And you build a single enterprise-wide database from the ground up with tables and relationships that cover all of the data requirements that you learned about. And finally, you build an entire suite of applications to provide those common business functions, processes, and workflows. And what you end up with is a cloud-based platform of IT infrastructure and services that models much of what most IT departments across the world are delivering. And it's built using an extensive knowledge base of best practices and lessons learned. That is what ServiceNow is. As a customer of ServiceNow, a company is provided one or more entirely self-contained instances of that platform, its database, and the entire suite of applications and workflows. Now I could go into much more detail about this and I do that in other videos that I will link to in the description box for this video. But for now, you can think of ServiceNow as a best of breed IT department in the cloud. Question number two is what is a ServiceNow developer? And to answer that, let's revisit our scenario and recognize the fact that although many companies do lots of common things with IT, they also do lots of specific things to meet the needs of their situation. Things that make them unique or provide competitive advantage. To enable this, ServiceNow provides development tools that allow developers to customize out-of-box applications and workflows or create entirely new ones from scratch. A ServiceNow developer is a software developer that has expertise in customizing and building applications within the ServiceNow platform. These are people that have common development skills in things like analysis and design, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, SQL, and XML. In addition, they have a solid understanding of the ServiceNow platform, its database, applications, configuration, and administration. The platform provides the ability to write code from scratch or use a robust set of low-code, no-code tools that enable less technical developers or even non-developers to enhance or build applications. Custom tables can be created within the database to manage a company's specific data requirements, and custom-built applications can be added to the user interface to provide a seamless work environment for users. For those developers out there considering a career as a ServiceNow developer, I can tell you that the opportunities are endless. The combination of development skills and ServiceNow expertise 
makes finding proficient ServiceNow developers difficult, which means the demand and the salary are high. A quick search of Google Trends data indicates that the number of people searching the internet for ServiceNow-related information is growing exponentially. It's great to know how to do things that people are searching for. According to Glassdoor, the average salary for a ServiceNow developer is approximately $140,000 per year, and this seems to align with what I would expect amongst the folks that I work with. ServiceNow provides a robust training portal with resources to help with the learning curve. They also offer technical certification opportunities in several roles, including certified system administrator, application developer, and implementation specialist. I've also published a series of videos that teach you what you need to know to become a certified system administrator, and I'll link to that series of videos in the description box. The third question I most often ask about ServiceNow is, what is CMDB? And to start, the acronym CMDB stands for Configuration Management Database, which pretty much tells us nothing about what it actually is or does. Here's what it really is. For any company to effectively solve business problems and add value using hardware and software, they must know what hardware and software they have, where it's located, and what it's doing. Configuration management is the process of keeping a watchful eye on a company's IT investment to ensure that the greatest possible return is coming from that investment. Configuration management is all about knowing the answers to questions like, what IT components do we have? How old are they? What models and versions? Are they healthy or overutilized or underutilized? Where are the IT assets located? And who's using them? For what purpose? How are they providing value? And how are they related to each other? For example, which software is installed on which hardware? Which routers are connected to which computers using which ports and cables? In other words, how are they configured to work together to provide value? And what happens if something stops working or gets modified? Now you might be thinking to yourself, this all seems pretty obvious. After all, how can a company not know what computer stuff they have, why they have it, and where it is? And that's true for small businesses with a few employees and maybe a router in the closet or a printer in the break room. But if you think bigger, a large company, for example, with hundreds or thousands of employees and customers spread across multiple regions, multiple data centers, housing racks of physical and virtual servers, each depending on hundreds or thousands of disks and ports and routers, power supplies and cables. Scores of software and applications running on every device to provide the functionality the business and the customers depend on. In mid to large companies like these, the process of configuration management can be an extremely difficult task. A configuration management database, or CMDB, is a warehouse of data describing an organization's IT assets and how they're configured to work together to provide value to the company. The configuration management process then depends on the CMDB to provide the answers to those questions we just discussed. I mentioned earlier that the ServiceNow platform includes a single enterprise-wide database. That database includes over 4,600 tables and over 900 of those make up the ServiceNow CMDB. Those are tables set up specifically for storing records called configuration items that represent a company's hardware and software components, the relationships between them, and the services they provide. Many of the out-of-the-box applications that come with ServiceNow are already set up and configured to work with those CMDB tables. The platform includes a suite of tools created specifically for loading, monitoring, and managing, managing CMDB data. The discovery and service mapping tools, for example, can be set up to mechanically crawl a company's network and populate the CMDB with configuration items, services, and relationships. And the CMDB dashboard 
provides a single pane of glass for viewing the health of the CMDB with metrics and actionable suggestions for improvements. If you're interested in learning more about CMDB, I'll provide a link to a more detailed video in the description box below. And that does it for this video on the top three questions being asked about ServiceNow. I hope you found it useful. I would love your feedback. As always, drop us a comment, give us a thumbs up, and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, ServiceNow Simple. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.